the separation of powers. And I would like, first of all, I want you signing statements to change the laws that the Congress has passed, which is what this president is doing. We will have, we will have the executive branch function, both number one, the way it's supposed to function, within the confines of the executive branch, and number two, in a transparent way. So that you, the American people, the, the White House doesn't belong to George Bush. It belongs to America. And America needs to see what's going on. I, and I, I, if I want to just add one other thing, it's also really crucial that we have a real and meaningful, meaningful independent judiciary that believes in the Bill of Rights, that believes in the Constitution, that uh, you watch some of these things that this, this Supreme Court has done, it's frightening. I mean, it really is. On issues like women's rights, I mean, they had a ruling, some of you know this already, they had a ruling a few months ago that a woman working beside, side by side with a man, let's say they've done exactly the same job for 30 years, and then she discovers he's been paid uh, twice as much as she's been paid, and so she raises an issue about it. The only thing she can collect for in the last six months. Because she didn't, she should have found out about it. It's her responsibility. Her responsibility that she was being discriminated against. I mean, this is the kind of law, whether it's that or a woman's right to choose, civil rights, all these issues are in the hands of us. You want to know why, I'm one of the reasons, besides the war and, and what's happening here, that this election is so important, because the next president is going to, is going to nominate one or more Supreme Court justices. And we must nominate Supreme Court justices, and I will do this, who have a clear and proven record of believing in civil rights, in women's rights, in equal rights, who believes in the Bill of Rights, who believes in the Constitution. Somebody who will not be swayed or influenced by public opinion or public passion, but will actually enforce the law and the Constitution, and, will make, and who believes that every person who comes into the court system has exactly the same rights and exactly the same value, that we don't, the big corporations aren't treated differently than anybody else, who believes in environmental laws, who believes in health laws. I mean, we need a, pres a, a, a Supreme Court justice who believes in those things. And the only way to do it is to make sure that we win the election and the candidate who's beating every Republican is on this stage right now. <laughs> I see other hands up that I didn't get to call on. Listen, if you will, if you have a question and you're willing to go on the internet to johnedwards.com, say you are here, please. I will be happy, happy to answer your question. Now, I'm asking, I said this earlier, I'm asking all of you to go to the caucuses, to join us in this cause, because this is a movement for change. And we're asking you to be part of this movement, to do the things that America needs to do. Whether it's universal health care, attacking global warming, ending poverty in America, doing something about the spread of disease in the world, ending this mess of a war in Iraq, we need you. We need you in this cause. And if you're willing to go with your friends on Saturday to the caucus for me, this is what I'll do for you. I will fight for you and your family with everything I've got. I'm going to give you back your real Democratic Party. We're going to give you back the White House. And we're going to give you 